Hello. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? That's good. That's good. I didn't give you time to answer because I don't care. <laughs> okay. So today, I think I'm going to start off with doing a little bit of blood magic stuff. Okay, there we go. So, right now we're just tier one blood altar. Which, yeah, all fine and great, right? Right. Uh, we're going to have to make this a tier two if we're going to get any of the other, the decent stuff, like the different sigils. I think in the last episode I was calling this sigil. Yeah, we'll just call it sigil. <laughs> Shush. Um, so, to make that, first, you want to make sure you're... Well, you can see it on the top of the screen, but yeah, when I point at it, uh, you want to make sure that your life points are either at zero. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not moving it. If you ever have to move this, because I made that mistake once, is that I moved it and I had it full of the LP. I'm pretty sure I ended up with zero LP when I put it back up, so... Make sure you don't have any LP in here, but to do what we're doing, all that we need to do is clear out around it. Dun, dun, dun. And I went one too far, because I don't know what I'm doing. And there we go. So what we're going to need is, is what they call a blood rune. See? Blood rune. And that puts it around here, and that will make the tier 2, which then... We can get the tier two orb, or I think it's called the apprentice orb. Or the next orb. I don't know if you call it tier two. So let's get the blood rune. Blood rune. And this is why I was making a whole bunch of those sigils. Hey, I need that. I need one. I need more than that. Why is it? What if I just throw those in there? Will it actually do it for me then? Hey. Oh, I'm out of stone. Okay, so let's. I need some cobblestone. Whoop. Whoop. I might as well throw a couple of these in there. Yeah, I didn't do any automation yet. I didn't really play much since the last time after killing the Wither boss. Uh, I did set up the other, whatchamacallit, the Ender Quarry, which it's been working a little bit. Hey, it's raining out, but you know what? I can go outside in the rain. I can take you over to it very quick if I can remember where I put it. Yeah, Cory's over this way. So yeah, I did set it up. Um, I took down the... The... Reactor. There you go. The reactor that I had uh, inside the house. And I just made it a couple taller. I wanted to try it that way first. Instead of making it actually wider. So really not much of a difference. And it's still maintaining a temperature that's, you know, decent. As you can see, uh, I laid out here. I, I just looked on the journey map to see what was the flattest area I could find. And this was pretty f flat. And then when I get done mining this side, I'll just flip it. So I'll put the fence over on this side. Unless I decide to make the little uh, ender markers before then, which is a whole lot easier to do those instead of putting fence all along the border. But, yeah. So, yeah, it does get a little warmer with the added, because there would be the original one, two, three, yeah, I made it four high. So it does get a little bit warmer, but nothing outrageous. It's not too bad. That's within, you know, it's good enough, and it puts out 1.16 
kilo RF per tick. So, plenty for, oh, did it, it actually made it there. So this thing's, where you at? Right there. So yeah, it has all the energy. So that's plenty of energy it's producing. And that's sucking all the energy. So, and it's keeping up with it. So yeah, that was plenty for the actual reactor. And I have these world anchors, so when I'm not in this area, the world still loads and refreshes, or just this area it loads. But, yeah, I'm not actually on a server, which I forgot. <laughs> so every time I close Minecraft, it doesn't continue to work. Which, when I had this on a server before, that's what it did, and yeah. So forgot. Oh well. But it is what it is. So show you that. Mm -mm. See, this town is so close. I think I could actually uh just connect them to. Connect the both of them. Just build my fence just a little bit further this way. And we could have one huge town. It'd be like a megaopolis. A Slaptopia megaopolis. I just still don't think anybody's living in my derpy house over here. Nobody likes my house. I would live here. I just put a couch or something in it. Hmm. So I haven't really noticed that any of the... I haven't had a blood moon yet, mostly because I haven't been playing, but I haven't noticed any of these villagers actually turn into zombie villagers, so we're good on that front. Uh, still got my iron golems running around. Let's see if this is done yet. Derpy, derpy, derp. Oh yeah, you're done. And you're done. Let's make the other five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, guy. Hey, I needed that. Actually, I don't. Oh, crap. All right, we're back. You know what? You figure out how to stop lagging and whatnot. And then you just start crashing in some other way. Stupid Nvidia. But, okay. We have the blood runes. And all you do is place these around your altar like so. And it should say, you are now a tier 2 altar. Sweetness. So, um, I do believe I'm going to need... I don't know how much it costs in life points to be exact, but I need to throw an emerald on there. One thing I got, or one thing I made, is this purplicious cow pet, and it regens health at a cost, so it eats diamond nuggets. Mm-hmm, but it fills empty buckets with lava. <laughs> But it definitely helps uh, when you're trying to fill this blood altar up. Goes by a little bit quicker. So while we're waiting for that, regening, regening. Come on. Yeah, I'm not sure how much. Currently at 4,000. We'll do it a couple more times. Yeah, we left the the other, the weak orb in there because we don't need it once we make a new one. We'll just have the new one and that one will be used to make, you know, the different sigils. Let's see what kind of sigils we want to try. I have not tried many of them. Sigils, not sigils. Sigil. <clears throat> so there's the water one, the lava one. I have used the lava one. Uh, void, no. Air, no. 
Fast Minor. Haven't messed with that one yet. Uh, Ele Elemental Infinity. <laughs> okay. Uh, haste. That one might be nice. Let me go fast. Uh, Sigil of Holding. Ooh, we need that one too. Because then once we start making more and more sigils, sigils, <laughs> this will actually hold all the sigils. I uh, got that one. Green Grove, that helps, uh, like, the wildlife. Like, if you stand near your garden or your farm, it'll help the plants grow when you have it activated. Uh, Whirlwind, not sure. Phantom Bridge. Oh, when you're, like, running in the air, it makes a black bridge, which is pretty nifty. Uh, magnetism. Hmm. Uh, blood lamp. I see light. Uh, suppression. Better than, I don't know what that one is. I'm going to have to look up some of these. Harvest goddess sigil. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to look up some of these. Because, yeah, I, that and we probably need a larger altar. So, after... Here. Yeah, I don't want to kill myself again. 8,000 LP. That should be enough. And we'll just place the emerald on there. And you can see it's starting to do its thing. You can see up at the top on the... Uh, Wally, Wally, whatever, Wally. Uh, you can see it going down. Okay, what, seven or eight thousand? Seven thousand? It'll probably take four, three, seven, hopefully not that much. Uh, come on, buddy. How much blood are you stealing from me? Hmm. Yeah, is it four thousand? Four or five thousand LP? I better have enough. Can't be 10,000. Hey, there we go. Dun, dun, dun. Now we have the apprentice blood orb. So, currently, I think we were capped out at 5,000 LP for that one. I think this one caps out at like 10 or 15,000, something like that. It's a lot more, which is nice, because once we start using the sigils, uh, that's what it drains it from. It drains it from your uh, your personal network, this network out here, not your actual uh, altar. But from here, once we get to the, like the level three, this is going to get larger. So I think we're going to have to move it. So what I was thinking is that I've got a perfect spot because it starts getting bigger and bigger and you add more and more to it and it gets taller too, which is not going to fit in this area. So what I was thinking is that I had a perfect spot for it, which is right up here because yeah, it's, it's going to get pretty big. Cause right now it just fits, you know, this little three by three area, but eventually it, does get like almost out to here so yeah which that's like a level six or yeah like level five sort of altar so i was thinking of moving it up here but not right now we'll move it when we go to upgrade it to a level three we'll actually move it up here which i can you know make it a little bit fancier up here build something else or like pillars or something to make it look nice up here but that's what i was thinking that we should move it up here but until then let's make something let's make like a do we need lava we're on let's make a lava sigil sigil no what i just do that for come here well i want to make can we make the haste do it with an apprentice one? No. I think we need to be level three. Yeah, we need to be level three to do that one. Um, fast miner? No, I don't need to be a fast miner. Yeah, let's just do the 
Ooh, we need a lava crystal. How do we make a lava crystal? Buckets of lava. Buckets of water. Well, that ain't too bad. Okay, let's make that one. So I need... One, two, three, seven? Seven buckets of water? Let's see what we got. Buckets. I have six. I need to make some more buckets. Seven. Okay. I've got water there. Where's my infinity pool? Do, 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 do. Hmm. Okay. Do, do. No, 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 Okay. Uh, sigil. Sigil. I need a sigil. On the water one. We should have plenty of stuff for it. Throw my prints in there. Sweet. So, now when we use this, let's see. So, here, we'll use it outside. So, uh, how many times am I going to say so? So, 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 so. We'll just use it right here. All right. I have 7,000 life points. We'll see how much for one bucket of water. Well, that doesn't flow. It just stays there. Okay, it uses 100 for each bucket. Well, that's not too bad. It's pretty much free water. Now I just need a bucket again. <laughs> a bucket. Ding, ding, ding. Darn it. I didn't click the right button. Which, early game, if you're using the, like, the lava sigil, it's really convenient if you have, like, a lava generator or anything like that that creates power from lava. And also, with your uh, Tinker's Construct stuff. How do... Oh. Hey, he filled up all my empty buckets with lava. What a nice guy. I guess I can make the lava sigil. Sigil. Hey, that's finally growing. Yeah, it also works great if you, you know, filling that up. Using, well, I built it by a pool of lava, so it really doesn't matter to me, but... Uh, I guess we can go make the lava sigil, too. Why not? I forgot it fills up buckets of lava. Forgot all about that. So, what did we need for that? Oh, what? how do we make a lava crystal? Lava crystal. Okay, we should have plenty of that. Now, the lava crystal, you can also use, like, TNT. Not TNT, uh, coal. So, if you had a regular furnace and you put the lava crystal in it, it pulls LP from your life network to pretty much cook with. Which, that's pretty nifty too. Oh, I want that back. Please, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Actually, we could probably make... Hey, why are you not filling up my empty buckets? Lazy. I gotta go fill them up by myself. Jeez. Uh, 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 u
Uh, uh. What was I saying? Oh, we could also make the sigil of holding too. Sweet. Hey, we get the lava crystal back. I didn't know that. Um, okay, so when you use this one, I think it costs about as much as the water. And what's... Okay, I've got a plain bucket. What's nice is that it also doesn't go anywhere. At least it shouldn't. So, like, if you were using, like, a react reactor, like a lava power generator... You can use this and just put it on the ground. It won't burn wood. I put it on wood and left it sit there for a while just to make sure because I didn't I didn't know if it would work or not, but yeah, it does. And you just grab it with your bucket and fill it up. Okay. So get rid of some of this. Now let's see. The last one. Do sigil of holding. Where you at? So I'm pretty sure I can make this. I think. Maybe. Maybe I can't. Blood orb. Hmm. Maybe I can't make it. I thought I could. Yeah, because that's just apprentice. Okay, never mind. I thought I could. I guess I'm wrong. Oh, I can make this one. Ooh, but I don't have any reinforced ones. Better than Swift. I don't know what the Void Sigil sigil does. Sigil. I'm thinking maybe... Okay, let's look it up real quick. Okay, oh, the Void Sigil... I guess um, it can remove one block of. Well, come on. It can remove, like. Is it raining again? Jesus. It's so loud. So it can remove, like, one block of any liquid. Like lava, water, oil, anything like that. Now, it might come in handy sooner or later. But, no, we won't make it right now. Uh, what we do need to do is start filling this bad boy up. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, almost too much. <laughs> Don't want to kill myself again. So, I think I'm going to call this an episode. I mean, it's a little short. Yeah, a little bit short. But, uh, I'm going to keep letting the mining do its mining stuff the ender quarry uh, I think I'm gonna try setting this up somehow I don't know I'm getting ideas still I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna do it I was thinking if I could just pull straight from these buckets and go over to okay, I don't I don't know we'll see uh, next episode um, probably try and make this a tier 3 maybe I'm gonna have to do some I don't know how to make a tier 3 so and there's different upgrade blocks that we can do. So maybe I'll start getting that stuff ready to do for next episode. Um, other than that, everything looks, everything's going pretty good. Uh, we're going to need to go on a venture sooner or later. Maybe we can find the end. Go looking for a stronghold. Maybe a, just a lucky block that has the end portal thing in it. <laughs> that would be even easier. <laughs> but... Any hoosers, I suppose I could see you guys never because that's how this works. You see, well, me ish, you hear me, and I don't see, hear you. But we'll be back next time. <laughs>